Coyote carcasses are used as trophies by humans hanging high on a wooden pole. This scene was just discovered by the wolves. This cruel way was undoubtedly a challenge to the whole wolf pack. That night, the wolves came to the humans' territory. They decided to take wild revenge on the humans. They split into two groups. The division of labor was clear. One group of wolves attacked the sheep pen to attract the attention of humans. The other wolf pack stands on the top of a high hill, preparing to attack the war horses kept by the herders. They see the right moment. Moment. They quickly rush towards the horses. They don't bite directly. Instead, they create confusion among the horses, with the intention of forcing the horses into the frozen lake and freezing them alive. At that moment, the two herders who were on guard noticed the wolves' intention. They drove the horses to the east, trying to bypass the frozen lake. But the wolves were already expecting this. With a command from the wolf king, the wolves started to attack. The screams of the wolves, the silence of the grassland was instantly broken by cries for help. The woman grabbed the tail of a wolf with a firm grip. The wolves pounced on him and did not let him bite the sheep. The men began to attack wildly. The wolves were driven away by the herdsmen with lasso poles. Huge horses' hooves kicked the wolves away. But these still couldn't stop the wolves from taking their own revenge. Just then, a herder unfortunately fell down. The wolves saw this and swarmed directly on him. Another herder tried to rescue him. The result was that he was surrounded by the wolves. In this way, the wolves soon entangled the two herders to death. The rest of the wolves continued to drive the horses towards the frozen lake. One herder tried very hard to escape from the encirclement, but it was already too late. All the horses were heading towards the frozen lake at a great speed. At this critical moment, the herder raised his gun and fired into the sky, but he was thrown off by the frightened horses. He fell heavily to the ground. He was killed instantly, without humans to stop them. The horses ran into the lake. The wolves blocked the river, forcing the horses to walk on the ice. The wolf king stood on the hill looking at what was in front of him. The green eyes are the last warning to mankind.